on today's show, you already know what we're talking about because I told you already, it's Central State University Invincible Marching Marauders. We're going to talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly, the stands, the field shows, and the total package. And at the end, as you already know, I'm going to give you a grade. All this and more coming up next on Luke's Band Report. <music> Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, or whenever you're watching me right now, my name is Jay Luke, the owner and operator of the Passion Is Network. I'm also the host of Talk That Talk. You can get any of our merchandise at www.realtalkthattalk.com. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. The Invincible Marching Marauders, it is time for your grade for Central State, and I got a lot to talk about or a little. I don't know. It depends on however you want to look at it. First things first, I think if I'm not mistaken, Blake Gaines is the new band director at Central State. So first of all, I want to say congratulations to you. Congratulations to your team to be able to take over another program, jumping in there um, and receiving a program from someone else and being able to start your own thing and, and put your own spin on it. So congratulations to you. Um, and again, to the staff as well. So let's go ahead and get into it. The first thing I'm going to talk about is field shows, and I'm going to start with the drum majors. So I actually like the drum majors a little bit. Not a lot, because, you know, my favorites is J5. But they're kind of like a low-budget J5 to me. Not necessarily saying that you guys are terrible. I just want to make sure I put that out there. But it's the truth. They're, they have a lot of qualities to me that I that I kind of felt were very J5-ish. A little bit of sprinkle of A&T in there. So... I actually thought the drum majors were all right. As far as your drills are concerned, normal downfield drills, I don't see anything that's necessarily wrong with it. Watching every single one of your drills, and it seems to me that this show, this year, or this past year's show was filled with the Jana Jackson show. Uh, I know that you all think I did, you all did one more other show after that, but I, the most shows that I saw were the Jana Jackson show, show. So coming right out the whole... Um, in the stone, if I'm not mistaken, the end of stone intro is you all's thing. One of the things that kind of threw me off about that is that that uh, counter melody, uh, and it sounded like it was either in the mellophone or the euphonium. Uh, -da 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 uh, as you all go down that line, it almost kind of felt like it just kind of dissipated and disappeared, and it wasn't as confident as it should be. Uh, so that thing, that kind of threw me off a little bit, and it was almost like every time you played it. Um, but other than that, I think every time you came out, some of the lines from the beginning of the year weren't as smooth, but as you kept going throughout the year, you got cleaner and cleaner lines. So every, my thing is, if you're going to continuously do a drill, like I said before in Bethune show, if you're going to continuously do a, do a drill, as long as a drill gets cleaner and cleaner every single time, I ain't got no problems. I think it's a good thing. So yeah, you all did a downfield drill. Um, you started out with the two-step interval uh coming into the the uh the i want to say triangular shape floating it floated it down the field came back spelled the csu uh and then can't went to your stage or concert formation um so I, I really think that what you all did with that drill i think it was clean i don't think it was anything wrong with it i do again uh i kind of appreciate the fact that well no i didn't i was going to say i do again realize that you all didn't use your flags in the, in the drill and you kind of floated them. I felt like you were floating them off the field, but you actually put them down in front to just do some twirls and things of that nature. Uh, could you have incorporated them in the drill when you, uh, after you all got out of the CSU and started making your other formations? I feel like you could have. Um, in some, in some, and because I think you all were doing a, a two-step drill, if I'm not mistaken, you could have incorporated incorporated them inside of the drill. I felt like it was very possible for you to do. Uh, but I, 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 I'm realizing that the norm for a lot of people is to not necessarily use the flags in the drill, specifically if you have downfield drills, um, which I think is, is, is kind of, and I don't want to say it's odd, but I just, I'm ready to see someone who's going to break that mold who does have flags. So I don't know. But outside of that, uh, after you guys did that, then you came to your flag formation or your, your, your um, concert formation where you all did anytime, any place, uh, by Janet Jackson. And I'm going to be honest. Yes, there were some mistakes that I saw in the flags. Um, but what I will say is I actually like them. 
I like them because from what I can tell, they're taking risks. They're doing certain things. There was this one part to the right, right at the end where you all went back to back. There was a toss from uh, the lady, the young lady in the front that went to the back and you were supposed to catch it, come back around and then end the piece. I actually thought that was really cool. There were some other things that you all did in there that I thought that as the fact that you attempted it was great. Now, did every single one of your performances of that, did it, did it all land? No, but the ones that you did do and the ones that did land, I was like, yo, this is great. I like seeing it. Were there mistakes? Absolutely. But I'm not even going to, um, you know, look down on the fact that there were mistakes. Should you continuously work on it? Yes. Will you clean it up? I don't have any doubt, but I really like what the flags are doing and the flag work. So Thumbs up! as far as your dancers are concerned, for me, this is one of those situations where I felt like dancers tunes need to be faster. I felt like some of the, the dancers tune was so slow to the point to where some of the execution of what the young ladies were doing seemed very lazy, very, a little bit lackadaisical almost. And then in a lot of times it almost felt like some young ladies were behind the tempo. And that's not to say that you all can't dance, not at all. But what I am saying is sometimes the tempo can dictate the energy within the performance. And so I felt like the tempo was just a little slow for me. Not to say that the young ladies can't dance again, but what I do like about them is I love the fact of your uniform choices. I just really do. Not too exposed, but still classy, something that'll stand out. I liked it. I even liked the little short set that you all had. I thought that was great too. So keep up the uniform thing. I really appreciated that. But I would say definitely pick up the tempo and some of uh, your performances or some of your pieces just to add a little energy and flair to what you're doing. Um, other than that, no, I really didn't have too many, too many negative things or negative thoughts about it. I just felt like what you all were doing or what you all were doing while could, while it was pretty decent, just didn't add to the energy of the show that the rest of the band put together. As far as the dance routine is concerned, you already know I'm not a dance team person, but I also know because I had to watch a whole bunch of them. Y'all did scream. Yeah, I think it was scream. It was scream. Anyway. But you all did scream, and I think it's, you all had like this kind of Super 7 kind of thing where you all use the drum majors along with a couple of other, other guys to do the uh, dance that Janet Jackson and Michael did, and you all added your own flair and flavor to it, and you even threw a moonwalk in there, which got the crowd hype. I don't mind a little bit of crowd participation and some GE. I think that's a great thing. You got to add that within your show. Yet again, like I said, that was pretty basically the most that I saw as far as your field shows, there's multiple versions of the Janet Jackson show. I wouldn't really necessarily say that you all didn't do another show because if I'm not mistaken, I think I saw one. I can't see fucking shit out of this thing. But I think I only saw it like one time. So if I'm wrong in that, hey, shoot it to me and I'd like to, to, to review it and look at it because I really wanna you know give you guys a better look and a fair grade. But from the ones that I did see or the show that I did continuously see over and over again, those are my thoughts from what you guys were presenting on the field. Now, as far as the music is concerned, I'm gonna be very honest with you. I think there's a really big intonation problem that I just kept hearing over and over and over again. And I'm not saying that nobody's working on it. I'm not even saying that you're not trying to work on it, but I am gonna say that it does stick out. It, it, it kind of is very, very obvious. Um, and so very, a lot of passages where you guys are playing sustained notes or anything like that, in unison notes, it was very obvious where the intonation problems were. were. Uh, when you guys were playing some chordal harmonies and stuff like that, I can tell where the intonation problems were because of, um, pitch tendencies and, and so on and so forth. And even the tax and releases sometimes uh, just wasn't as clean as they could be. And so that kind of stood out to me a little bit as well. So that's my thoughts on the stands. Damn, I messed up. Oh, I see. That's, my, that's my thoughts on the field. Moving on to the stands. Um, Somebody has to tell me, what is this chokehold with ice cream man? Dang, ice cream. Is this a thing? Like Bethune, obviously, we already know that Mr. Ice Cream Man is the Bethune thing, but even Central plays it. 
I guess that's the thing. I don't know. I don't understand the chokehold with this with this particular song. It's not to me. It's not neck. Like neck is the band song, without a shadow of a doubt. Neck is the band song. But for me, Ice Cream Man just don't do it. That's just it's just it's just not it. But apparently that's they play that. But I do feel like song selection is not very good. I mean, there are some songs that you all could play, some more up-to-date tunes, things of that nature. Now, there may be a reason why you may not be playing them. Obviously, you're dealing with, uh, dealing with a new band director, and with a new band director become, comes changes, and change is difficult when you're dealing with a new band director. And so I can probably, it's probably a situation where he probably just didn't have enough time to be able to write anything new, uh, or he doesn't have just an arranger on staff. And so... I think that song selection is something that could be worked on through time. Again, we come through, come to the conversation about the intonation, balance and blend, so on and so forth. A lot of ruse in the euphonium section that just didn't need to be there. Uh, trumpets who were screaming were trying to zip up to the note. And as a screamer, I'm going to be very honest, I don't always like hearing that. Land hit the note dead on, dead in the center. That was that's just how I how I approach it. I mean, I know that some people have different styles and, and things like that, but for me, for me, zipping up to the note, squeezing up to the note, it, it stands out like a sore thumb. And I'm gonna be very honest with a, with a program with the size that you have and a trumpet section that uh, the size that you have, screaming is should not even be a priority, right? Because if you're gonna scream you got to have something to support it. So most of the time when I'm listening to, or most of the time when I heard those screamers, there wasn't a section to support it and it stuck out, stuck out like a sore thumb. So a couple of those things that I was just listening to. So I would definitely work on from a trumpet perspective, strengthening the section in the range of where the music is written, making sure that everyone is, is strong in their music, in tune, balanced with one another, and then add the, the screaming onto that. As far as the euphonium and the roof, if you're gonna go up, just make it clean. I'm not a fan of the roof. I'm just not. And I think I think what makes it I think I, what makes it harder is the fact that it was like one person on the roof. Like it wasn't a section. It was just one person and, and it just stuck out. Now, what I will say about the stands, though, is I love the energy in, you, in the stands that you all have from top to bottom. There was one video I was watching where you guys were going through your sectionals features. And one of the things that I truly appreciated about the sectional features is everybody supported one another from every single section, whether the, the feature was good, whether the feature was bad, whether the feature was subpar regardless it was energy in the stands and everybody supported it and i can tell you right now those are one of the things that i love and i look for because that is what band is about the community the camaraderie the love for one another and the support of one another and i see that within this band program and i love to see it so on that front keep that close-knit uh um community with one another don't ever lose that. I love that. As far as the as far as the young ladies, the dancers in the stands, I mean, they alright. They was alright. I mean, it wasn't nothing to be like, ah, yeah, you know, they was alright. They was cool. Um, yeah. And that's it. That's all I got. That's literally all I got. I, I nothing just necessarily stood out. But if they's all right, as far as the flags, they do have swing flags and they were using them from what I could tell. So because they weren't that visible in the particular videos and stuff that I was watching. But from what I could see, they had swing flags and they were using them. Two thumbs up. I like that. I like that. We don't need another dancer squad. We need flags and we need dancers. And that's what you gave. Good job. All around total package. You know, to be very fair, new band director, I know you're building. And, you know, building takes time. The fact that you were able to 
come and come in and, and keep those young kids together and probably even bring in some more kids, I think is an amazing thing. Stand, I mean, uh, field presentation, I love the energy on the field. F uh, the drills are not necessarily a, a bad thing. They're all pretty clean, so I have no issues with that. But that intonation thing is really, really getting me. Um, and then outside of that, the tempo with the dancers, Flags doing a great job. Um, a lot of mistakes in there, but I like the energy um, that you have and the creativity that you all are actually putting forth. So that's where I am with that. As far as the stands, definitely need new music selection. Definitely need to clean up the intonation, the balance of blend. Um, but again, I love the energy that you have. One, I think one of the things that's really that's really standing out for me when it comes to you all is that energy. The energy is there, the community for the program is there. <laughs> you can't argue with it, it's there. It's right in front of your face, but that doesn't necessarily give the answer for the total package. So my grade for the total package for Central State, D plus. Yes, you got some things to work on, but there are some great things that I see. Just keep building, keep building, keep building. And that's one of the things that I'm always gonna talk about is building, continuing to grow, continuing to put the knowledge and the information and the excitement and all of that within all of those students. But again, I like what I see. I like what I'm seeing. Keep growing. Kudos to you guys. Before we get out of here, though, I will say this. I know in the last episode of Talk That Talk, I said I hadn't watched any mass band. Guess what I did in these past couple of days? I watched some mass band. And I need to say a couple of things very quickly. Will I have a conversation about Mass Band on LBR? Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. But let me say this. One, shout out to the Dallas Legion. I think they held their own for an organization that's been running for, I want to say, what was it? It's been, what, two years now? This is year number two? Shout out to you guys. And what's funny is I see some of my former students well, I see one of my former students directing the Dallas Legion, while some of my former students are in the Dallas Legion. So I think they're super great. I I love seeing it. Um, just continuing to be energized about band, about music. I don't have a problem with that. I think that's great. However, here's the however. I'm going to go live and say this. I like what I'm hearing from Georgia Mass Band. I said it. I said it, y'all. I said it. I do. I like what I'm hearing from them. Yeah. But there's still some more footage and videos for me to watch, so it's okay. Give me a couple of a couple of more days. Give me about another week to catch up with all the information that I'm taking in. And then I may come up with something different. I may come up with another thought. But for right now, that's where I am. Uh, also, uh, somebody asked me, well, when the season starts, am I still going to be doing band grades? Depends on the news that happens during the season. If the news in, that happens during the season overtakes what I need to continue to do or what I'm continuing to do as far as giving grades, then I may just continue it with the with where I left off, but with this that following year. So for instance, if I leave off on the T's and the next person up is Texas Southern, but we're into the season, then that means that the following summer, I'm gonna start with Texas Southern, but I'm gonna talk about their 2024, 2025 year. Does that make sense? Hope it does. Final thing before we get out of here, it is DCI season as well. And I have been watching or I started watching some DCI today, as well as I'm probably going to be in Houston for the DCI show, for the Texas DCI show. Uh, apparently, uh, obviously, they're going to have Texas regionals after that in San Antonio. But that is going to be at Prairie View. So if you are in the Texas area or if you are in the Houston area, check out DCI Houston. It's going to be at Prairie View and m University. Also right here in Dallas, there's going to be a battle of the bands between Texas Southern and Prairie View um, at the MLB thing. And I need to give the dates on that. So 
what I'll do is I will put the dates right down here in the description so that you can get, the, get those dates and also get to tickets to either one of those things. Other than that, man, hey, you guys tell me what you think. Did I give Central a fair, a fair grade? Do you agree with some of my thoughts? Or do you see or hear something different? Do you have video that may give me a different thought? Also, shout out to all the videographers that I have you know, saw. My guy, Lameek, uh, Shaq TV. It was a, uh, a A1. Shout out to you guys to, for what you guys do and providing it for all of us, for me to even be able to do this, man. So you guys tell me what you guys thought would in the think in the comment section i appreciate you guys for watching i appreciate you guys for listening and i will see you all on next week